Hey guys, Clay here from Badge of Secure and Survival, and today I'd like to add on one of our previous videos, which was how to stay focused. Now that was mostly focused on the first couple of weeks before and after an actual situation. Now I want to talk about beyond that, way beyond that, sustainability. So let's do this. First of all, everybody is so focused in the first seven, 10, month, two months of survival that they don't think beyond that. There is no bug out bag on the planet that is gonna get you beyond that first two weeks. If you don't have something planned out for beyond that, you're screwed. I'm, you're screwed, that's end of story. You don't have sustainability. You don't have a place to go. I'm going to go into the jungle. And I'm going to hunt some animals. Do you know how to skin those animals? Do you know how to harvest those animals? Do you know how to get any kind of nutrients besides the lean meat that you'll maybe possibly be able to get past that two weeks? You, you can supplement it with the things in your bug out bag. But beyond that, forget it. Now, think, think of it this way. If you can focus on just everything's planned out, you have a farm, you have animals, you have protein, you have all these other things in just sewn up tight, all of it sewn up tight. You know what the hardest port point is gonna be? Security. Keeping those things for your community secure. Now, just, Sustainability is hard enough. Sustaining security is one of the most difficult things your entire community will come across. You're gonna have people that do four hour shifts, four hour, which is optimal shifts, four hours. You, you go out, you come back at four hours later, you work here, work is easy. Like lift here, go there, do this, do that. That's easy. Maintaining eye contact with a field of fire for four hours where it is important, that is difficult. Four hours. People are talking about 12-hour shifts with the people in their community. That is very difficult. Maintaining focus on a field of fire, on a listening post, an observation post for more than four hours at a time, you're losing that. I'm sorry, I've done it, I lost it. I was paid to do this and I couldn't do it. Now, let alone when my life and my whole family's life and my entire community's life depended on it, especially four months down the road when you haven't heard a chirp in the wrong way. Period. You cannot sustain those things. You have to schedule your security that is convenient, but is also non-essential to survivability. This is where the problem is. You, you, have to, you have to have that security mindset. You have to. Your survivability means nothing if you develop all these farms and all of these uh, husbandry things, these trade routes that we've been talking about. They mean nothing if you cannot protect them. Period. You cannot protect those things if you don't have the mindset that lets you accomplish them. Now, you have all the security aspects. You have your survival is there. Your security is there. Everything's great. Everybody has everything nailed. Great. The th first three months of that, you're going to start experiencing psychological issues if you don't have a way to separate yourself from survival and security. You have to have something that separates on time to off time. You have to have those things. Board games, movies, regardless, it doesn't matter. 
you have to have some way to separate your ability to do your job, your farming, your security. Security is intense, by the way, in, in a real, real situation. Security is intense. And if you cannot pull yourself away from that, you're always on edge, always focused on what could happen. You can't pull yourself away from that. That's a problem. That's, that's more of a detriment than it is a bonus. That's just how it is. You have to have those li that literature, th those things that make us a civilized society. That is what you need to focus on in your post-apocalyptic future. You know, I mean, obviously, if you can't survive those first couple of weeks, none of those things matter. But after those first couple of weeks, if you are beyond your bug out bag and you're beyond your community thriving with other people, you need to have that sophistication. You have to have that literature, the, 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 the thing that makes society work and makes things function together. Those are the things you need to focus on, which is the whole point of this video. You have to have a focus one way or the other, whether your focus is, I don't want to die. I need to have a community. I need to have, you know, food. I need to have shelter. Regardless of what you move past, there's always, there always should be another focus. And at some point, educating the new people in your community, i.e. children, or intake, or doesn't matter. The people that don't have this kind of knowledge are the people that you should be educating and giving the, them the ability to look forward to the future beyond even your own death. Say you die of old age, you just nailed survival, end of the world, screw the end of the world, mm, I just want it all. The people beyond you are the people you need to be worrying about. I know I got a little bit intense in there, but I'm very passionate about these types of things. And we are very passionate about these types of things. You cannot push past the first two weeks. Like, if you get past this, everything is going to be sunshine and rainbows. That's not how it works, okay? You have to focus on not only the immediate threat, but the long-term threat and survivability. You have to focus on those things. And if you don't, well, then you're going to be one of those people that last two weeks. And thanks for your gear. Now, if we missed something and you think that your opinion will help us develop our community or your own community, and we can fire back and forth anytime. Facebook, our website, badgersns.com. We have two Facebook things going right now. Badger Secure and Survival and Priority Survival. Priority Survival is actually a little bit more focused on the knowledge aspect of it, which there's always room for more knowledge. Okay? Check out our blogs, our podcasts, all of our new videos, and until next time, make yourself ready.